Natural surfaces are very inspiring and are some sort of blueprint from the nature. So if, if you think for instance about the lotus leaf or shark skin, you will see that these surfaces are well designed for their specific application. What these surfaces have in common is that they have a very specific and unique surface texture. The goal now is to use or to try to adapt these micro textures and bring them on technical surfaces by some sort of processes. This is what we do um, at Fraunhofer IWS and therefore we use some uh, specific technology called direct laser interference patterning, in short DLIP. In the huge variety of microstructures that can be produced with DLIP, um, we developed with our colleagues at the Technical University of Dresden together with the partner Airbus um, a process that basically combines DLIP with ultra-sharp pulsed lasers. This uh, enabled the creation of microstructures that are basically um, they show an anti-icing effect. Icing is a, a problem for, for aircraft because it happens very quickly. The droplets in the clouds are super cool. This water, as soon as it hits the aircraft structure, freezes within a few milliseconds. And this makes icing such a risk for which a solution is needed. Currently we use bleed air, it's so-called bleed air, it's hot air which is extracted from the engines and then via ducts, via pipes, it is uh, conducted inside the wings to heat up the front, the leading edge of the wings of the sleds. And so what we use is hot air to heat up the surface and melt away the ice. This is the standard procedure for large passenger aircraft at Airbus. So we started working with Fraunhofer IWS in the frame of the European project Laser for Fun with the purpose of developing a laser structuring process for surfaces in order to make them less sticky to water, to contaminants and to ice. And so the trick has been to develop a surface structuring process to turn an aluminium surface or a titanium surface where you, water is usually sticking to, to make it repel water droplets. And this was reached in the end of, uh, of, 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 the, of the Laser for Fun project. The particular challenge in this kind of structuring was to uh, demonstrate this anti-icing effect in some relevant icing conditions. And to do this, we had to structure a 3D part that simulates basically uh, the profile of a wing of an airplane or a helicopter. So the sample was manufactured first in Fraunhofer VAS in Dresden, then it was shipped here and uh, it was tested in the test section of our wind tunnel. Uh, we used uh, different uh, environmental parameters uh, to reproduce what uh, an aircraft is experiencing in flight. So we used different uh, angle of attack for the angle of the, of the sample uh, in order to reproduce different uh, wind configurations, different temperature down to uh, minus 20 degrees Celsius and wind speed up to 120 meters per second. Moreover, we used uh, different liquid water contents, so different amount of water in our icing cloud uh, to generate different icing severities. We do wind tunnel testing in order to accelerate our development processes. In the wind tunnel we can test under similar conditions as during flight, but uh, we can have them all the time and test many more samples in a shorter time. And this makes icing wind tunnel testing very important for the surfaces that we develop ourselves or that we have developed with Fraunhofer in the Laser for Fun project. What are your next steps? We will uh, definitely use uh, not this exact NACA profile, but the structure which is on it, and we will continue testing this structure in further icing conditions. We have already started doing so on flight tests with the A350 flight lab. Um, the results are promising, and so we would like to continue investigating performance and durability of this structure or similar surface structures for ice protection.